Hello guys, I'm Bobby, the lead 3D artist of Alan Sharp, Wipe Toilet Plague and a lot of other low poly video games. I've worked for clients doing work as a freelancer over the internet. I'm also the digital marketing specialist of UX Labs. First, before we start this devlog, thank you for coming back to this channel. I'm so glad that you love to learn, to improve, to become a better game developer. And I'll do my best to share all my knowledge throughout all these seven years of my game dev journey with you so we can create an awesome indie game scene and create astonishing uh, indie games. I would like to say I'm so sorry I didn't manage to record a video uh, last week. I had so many obligations, so many things to do, basically due to the Alan Shops deadline. Um, I had another Battle Royale game uh, for client over the internet. Uh, I had two comp marketing companies where I did uh, marketing uh, strategy. And there was also another low poly game I've worked on. So I, I was so overloaded with jobs that I didn't find the time just to record a new devlog. But here we are at this moment. So today I would like to talk about games which contain awesome character arcs and awesome stories rpg story based games and those of you guys who create such games which contain a great story i believe this devlog will be very beneficial for your character development but before we start let me just uh, pick up some power converters from toshi station be right back guys so the first thing we should talk about is the character arc We've seen a lot of games in the past, uh, like Mass Effect 3, God of War, um, Uncharted, uh, Tomb Raider, um, Halo series, a lot of games which have great storylines, amazing, uh, memorable, relatable characters, and all of that is due to carefully, carefully built character development. So... In order to have awesome characters, you need to know how to design, how to build a great character arc. Basically, how to write a character arc which is relatable with your target audience. So, let's start with the character arc. What is a character arc? Character arc is a gradual change in beliefs in your character from the beginning of the story all the way to the end. Not only character arcs do influence the story structure, they also influence the main theme of your game, of your story. Theme is a dominant idea that shapes your story and it should be summed up in one sentence. Let's take a look at some, of, some movie examples. Harry Potter. The theme for Harry Potter is love, family, friendship, humility and self-sacrifice. Then we have Braveheart which is freedom is worth fighting for even if it means to the death and in gladiator we have family duty honor betrayal survival the theme is the first thing you should think about when writing uh, your storyline because the theme is basically the main aspect of your story and it's the thing that you argue to be true so writing a good uh, storyline a good theme through character arc is not easy but in order to get memorable relatable characters we're gonna have to explore four elements which make up a great character those are the character want the character need the character lie and the character ghost let's check every single one of them and see how they can benefit your storyline in order to create more memorable characters the lie is something your character believes to be true about the world or himself. But something about this way of seeing is misguided or wrong and throughout the story you can make your character realize that this isn't the, the exact truth and you will find ways to make him uh, uh, find the real truth. So for example, let's take Tony Stark, Iron Man. In the first movie Tony Stark believes that he, uh, he starts the story with a lie and he doesn't believe that he needs to be held responsible or accountable for the weapons used by terrorists, the weapons which are manufactured by Stark Industries. 
Then another example would be Star Wars New Hope, where Luke Skywalker believes he's just an ordinary farm boy from Tatooine. He cannot be anything else. He's destined to stay on this desert planet. Um, he tries to apply in the academy, but immediately his uncle, Uncle Owen, he decides to cut him out, destroy his dream and say, you're going to have to stay with me because I need you for another harvest. And Luke believes that basically he's nobody and that is the lie he believes in. The next element I would like to talk about is the character ghost. Character ghost is the reason your character believes in the lie. It can sometimes be found as the term the wound, some kind of a traumatic experience in the past of your character which makes him see the world uh, the way he sees it, sees it now. And this is usually a backstory element. Not all of the games have backstory elements like backstory, like lore inside the game. But it's very good to have it written on paper just for you. So you can always keep an eye out and as you're building the character arc. And you can create believable characters. So the character ghost for Luke Skywalker is the death of his parents, Anakin and Padme. So he's stuck on this planet with his, with his uncle on Tatooine. Uh, he believes that he cannot be, he will never reach uh, popularity like his father, uh, being a war general or a war hero and so on, a best pilot, because at that period he doesn't know that his father is basically Darth Vader. And if this spoils for you the movies, you'll be basically living under a rock. Um, so that's the character ghost. That That is the reason why the character believes in the lie. The third element would be the character want. The character want is something that your character desires more than anything. And keep in mind that the want is external. Usually the, uh, the want doesn't have to be the same throughout the entire storyline. It can change, but it's important to remember that the character want is as good as the obstacles you put on the way of your character. Uh, so, for example, uh, in Lord of the Rings, Frodo wants to destroy the ring. In um, Matrix, Neo wants to save humanity from the machines. Uh, in Star Wars, Luke Skywalker wants to escape Tatooine. Then his want changes. He wants to save the princess. But the main want would be he wants to become a Jedi and to be uh, like his father. So basically that's the want of the character and as you can see it's always external. Unlike the character want, the last element, the character need is internal. Need something that your character needs to figure out about themselves in order to get the thing they want. The need also needs to have obstacles, but those obstacles won't be external. Unlike the wand, for example, where, um, for example, Luke Skywalker escapes Tatooine and he's caught in the tractor beam by the Death Star, those are external obstacles which prevent him to achieve the wand. But the need here, which is internal, uh, the obstacle here would be Luke's own self-doubt. So that's basically the need, or Frodo in Lord of the Rings realizing that he needs Sam to complete his journey, or Neo in The Matrix who needs to start believing in himself uh, that he is the one. Here's how to apply the arc to your script. So establish the lie your character believes, establish the characters which can impact the arc of your character's lie, like Obi-Wan who was mentored to Luke Skywalker and guided him throughout the story. Be always aware of the exact lie your character believes in and always be aware of the exact truth. So based on those previous information that we've went through, let's do some interesting uh, game. Let's start with, can you design a character and write down your character's want, need, lie and ghost? And see if this devlog has helped you in achieving a proper character arc. I will give you some example, I will come up with on the fly 
So let's see how it goes. So we have, for example, a son of a blacksmith in a small village. He sees valiant knights and hears stories about them. He dreams of becoming a knight, uh, which are proud, powerful. Uh, they always go on an adventure and so on. But his father needs him to work with him and become a blacksmith. The son believes in the lie that he'll never be a knight, that he's nobody, and it affects his beliefs, his self-confidence, and his father, his grandfather, have always been farmers or blacksmiths. He's not of a warrior type, and although he's friendly with other people, in truth he's sad, depressed. He wishes badly to become a knight, but his self-doubt and fear prevent him to do that. So in that time he had grown to believe he doesn't have the strength or skills to be a knight, and then suddenly some great force, like a force that humanity can't handle, maybe like, I don't know, wraiths or demons or those things from the the wild hunt from the Witcher 3 come, they destroy the village, he barely saves his head with the help of a friend who will after that become uh, his mentor maybe or someone like Samwise to Frodo who will guide him through the storyline and after the destruction of his village he basically um, goes on the way to become a knight and exact revenge on those things who destroyed his fa family, who destroyed his village and so on and so on. So you see there, he, uh, here we have developed like a small example how you can use want, need, ghost and lie to establish a character arc. And let's say, let's go back to this character and see that he realized in time, after passing some obstacles, that he needs to believe in himself, he needs to learn a lot, he needs to work hard in order to become a great game dev. Sorry, knight. <laughs> so basically, these are the four elements you can use to establish awesome character arcs. Hope you like them guys and hope this video helped you. If you love the content, if you have any ideas or if you've already written down a character arc, please uh, feel free to share it down in the comments. So if this um, content was helpful to you, please like and subscribe so we can grow an amazing community. Have a great day guys, bye.